With a net worth of $2.2 billion as of this video, WWE owner Vince McMahon is a fan of unique luxuries. He decorates his $40 million Connecticut mansion with bearskin rugs and a giant self-portrait. His WWE office is just as unique. It features a $6,000 T-Rex skull. Of course, Mr. McMahon also enjoys the things most billionaires do, like a private jet, a yacht, a collection of cool custom vehicles, and luxury property all over the US. From sunny vacation homes to heaps of WWE memorabilia, let's explore how McMahon spends his billions. Let's start with Vince McMahon's many luxury homes. His main residence is this massive mansion in Greenwich, Connecticut. Worth an estimated $40 million, it's conveniently located just 15 minutes away from WWE headquarters. Officially named Conyers Farm, the sprawling 10-acre property is located down a picturesque tree-lined driveway. The main house is 4,365 square feet across three stories with seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a gym, and a pool. Recent photos seem to show some changes to the home's yard as McMahon further perfects his pricey property. Another Connecticut property owned by the WWE legend is a 3,900-square-foot penthouse duplex in Stamford that he purchased for $4.1 million in 2009. The penthouse is located in Trump Park, Stamford, now simply known as Park Stamford, and bought when the building was brand new. Records show that Vince spent $1 million above the appraisal value because of his relationship with Donald Trump. However, in 2017, the value of McMahon's unit was down to $1.98 million. The penthouse is reportedly impressive despite the value drop. It has three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, a terrace, and access to all the amenities of a luxury apartment complex, including gym, pool, sauna, and screening room. To get away from the sometimes dreary Connecticut weather, Vince McMahon and his wife also own a vacation home in sunny Florida. Their vacation condos in Boca Raton were bought as two separate units on the building's top two floors. They were purchased in 2002 for about $2 million and converted into a single-story penthouse. The couple also reportedly purchased a private poolside cabana to be able to better enjoy the building's resort-like amenities. Vince McMahon has kept pretty quiet about his extensive real estate portfolio, but it's reported that he also owns a loft in Tribeca, a Manhattan penthouse worth an estimated $12 million, and a ritzy condo in Las Vegas. Even at his older age, McMahon spends hours in the gym every day, so one thing you'll find in all his homes is a state-of-the-art professional gym with some of the most expensive equipment that money can buy. It's also reported that in most of his homes, he has large garages where he keeps his car collection. Vince's most well-known vehicle is probably this one, a Bentley Continental GT that was purchased for $200,000 along with an extra $100,000 worth of improvements, like a fancy top-tier sound system. Other vehicles reportedly owned by McMahon are a $130,000 Mercedes SL600R, a Boss Haas motorcycle, a Jeep Grand Cherokee, and a GMC Yukon XL. For business dinners and meetings, he's often spotted in a $450,000 Rolls-Royce Phantom. For more easygoing drives, he might opt for a ride in his $150,000 Audi R8. And when he wants to keep things classic, there's always his 1967 Corvette. Oh, and we can't forget to mention this baby, his $400,000 Lamborghini Aventador. It's also worth mentioning that Vince and the WWE have shelled out some big bucks on cars just to obliterate them. WWE heavy hitters like Steve Austin and John Cena have destroyed expensive cars for the cameras. McMahon has access to more than just cars. He owns a corporate WWE jet. It's a 2007 Bombardier Global 5000 worth about $27 million. The jet fits 19 people and includes a kitchen and office. Vince used to use it frequently to fly all over the world, though now it's primarily used by his son-in-law Triple H and other wrestlers. Nowadays, Vince is spending more time on the water than in the air. He owns his own yacht, which has a pretty unique name. 
We can't say it in this video, but let's just say it rhymes with sexy witch. The 47-foot luxury yacht was purchased for an undisclosed amount and is reportedly docked near his vacation home in Florida. It's no shocker that the WWE is worth a fortune, about $5.7 billion at the time of this video. It's made McMahon a billionaire, so it's no wonder he owns plenty of WWE stuff. Vince has held on to a few mementos that would fetch thousands or even millions if he were willing to auction them off. A piece of history saved by Vince in the WWE warehouse is the ring used for the first ever WrestleMania event. He also held on to this item from the 90s, an official WWE race car which features the Rock's logo from 2000. The engine, seats, and brakes are all missing, but WWE doesn't want to part with the car's iconic shell. The WWE buildings are also worth tons of money. WWE headquarters is huge and estimated to be worth almost $20 million. There's also the WWE Performance Center, a highly specialized gym and training center for future and current WWE superstars. It reportedly cost McMahon over $2 million, and that's not including the cost of the exercise equipment found within. As for WWE's priceless records, they're all kept at an Uber private data storage facility in Catskill, New York called Iron Mountain. The facility is fire and bomb proof and the WWE rents out space to keep upwards of 60,000 assets safe at the secure location. Of course, the WWE asset keeping Vince so rich is this one, stock. Vince purchased the company from his father in 1982 and has remained its majority shareholder since it went public. His personal shares have bounced up and down in value along with the wrestling business itself. At his peak, McMahon's stock was worth over $1 billion, while at its lowest, his stock dropped to about $650 million. Vince has a large personality, and since he's a billionaire, it's no surprise that he's made some very particular purchases. Various wrestlers have revealed that McMahon pays a great deal of money for custom-made suits. He also reportedly has very expensive meals made for him by personal chefs that include upscale items like steak or lobster. Vince's homes and office are filled with some strange and expensive decor. His son-in-law Triple H gifted him a replica T-Rex skull worth about $6,000. It's now displayed at his office at WWE headquarters. In the family room of his Connecticut mansion, you'll find this huge portrait of Vince sitting on a motorcycle that he reportedly commissioned himself. A few wrestlers have also claimed that McMahon has shelled out big bucks for bearskin rugs for multiple rooms in his homes. Even at the lower end of the scale, a full bearskin rug usually costs over $2,000. It's not surprising that McMahon's preferences are so specific. He definitely has the money for them. A third-generation wrestling promoter, McMahon grew up in a trailer park in North Carolina, but has since gone on to completely change the face of wrestling. Did you know that a fan once paid over $9,000 for a chance to fly on the WWE jet? What would you be willing to pay for a trip on the private plane? And would you pay even more if Vince McMahon and your favorite wrestler was able to join you?